What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today, we got a few new update products that are coming soon to Red Bull. So if you're watching this, you're probably interested, what is the new update? So I've actually been meaning to make this video, try to get it out as soon as possible. Um, we got four new products. You can see here there's a section called coming soon. And whenever a product is outlined with this like blue sort of outline with the word coming soon on the top, that means this product is coming soon in a matter of weeks, two months, uh, maybe two months maximum. Uh, it's going to be sold on the Red Bull stores. And what we're looking at are dog mats, cat mats, pet blankets, and pet bandanas. Now, this is kind of interesting because if you notice, it's all pet related products. Uh, that are coming soon to Red Bull. Now, if you guys do remember, some of the new products that were added were the caps. That was the most recent uh, product that was added, right? Uh, we had the desk mats that were also added recently. Uh, so we've had some, you know, recent products in the past few months. I would say maybe five to six months ago, maybe even four months. I'm not really sure. Um, but you know, I don't have an exact time frame around it, but we have the dog mats, the cat mats, the pet blankets, and the pet bandanas. This is kind of interesting, and I'm going to make the assumption here that on Redbubble, a lot of pet branded products sell really well. So things on mugs that, you know, like funny quote sayings about pets, pictures of pets, anything related to the pet world uh, is, is really, really... Um, I guess you could say growing. The reason why I say that specifically is uh, I actually done some research, some statistical analysis, and I actually seen, you know, through stats, and this is, I don't know, kind of sad or depending on who you are, but um, maybe you're a pet lover, but here's the thing is that um, people are actually having less children and having more pets, ironically enough. Uh, now, I don't know if that's TMI for uh, this YouTube channel, but I just find that pretty interesting. So maybe it might be an idea, a good idea to invest in some, uh, you know, dog brands or something like that, that their stock is going to rise in the future. Uh, Redbubble, uh, the, you know, these guys are very intelligent. They're making um, over $50 million a year. So if they're putting something on their store, it's a pretty good indication that it's making money right? They're not going to just waste time putting a product on their website without any kind of analysis, any kind of studies, any kind of experimentation. It's just not going to happen. They know When they do something, they know exactly what they're doing, and uh, they're coming with a purpose. So I just find that pretty interesting. I figured I'd put that out there. Um, if, you, if we have any pet lovers uh, in the comments below, uh, put them in the comments below. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're selling dog mats, cat mats, pet blankets, and uh, pet bandanas. Now, for this stuff, I think it is going to be best to optimize for certain, uh, you know, cer certain designs depending on the design that you have. So, for example, if you have like a number one dog, you know, kind of design, you might want to put it on a pet bandana, right? Because that would just make like sense to put it on there or number one, you know, number one. Uh, dog and and you know like maybe I'm just thinking in my head like um like a Fourth of July kind of thing uh, kind of theme an American theme and and like I said I when I saw the pet bandana this is exactly what I pictured in my head I pictured a Labrador Retriever a bandana around his neck that says something like number one dog or number one puppy or number one whatever in like it, this red white and blue color scheme. On a Fourth of July in the backyard with the, you know, the 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 family members grilling some burgers and hot dogs. Yeah, that, I know that's kind of graphical, but this is just what I pictured in my head. I know it's kind of, um, I guess you could say different, but for some reason that's what I first thought when I thought of pet bandanas. Believe it or not. Now, you got to think for somebody to buy a pet bandana, pet blanket, cat mat, cat dog. I mean, they're just not going out there and buying something from the dollar store. They're spending. They're going out of their way to buy a specific design for their dogs, for their cats. Uh, so they're, they're probably really, really big, you know, pet lovers. So maybe that has something to do with it. I mean, if you, like, for example, if you say, um, if you make a t-shirt with, let's just say, uh, American Pride on it, right? I don't know how well it's going to sell on a dog mat, 
I mean, maybe it might might sell really well. Maybe it might not, right? But um, maybe it has to be a pet-themed kind of concept that will increase your potential sales. But then again, if you do the pet-themed kind of concept, it might cancel out your chance to get sales on other products. That's why you might want to set your default view for one of these pet products if you're going to go that niche. And also, for the people who are selling pet-related products, if you're a pet lover, um, which I am as well, but if you're a pet lover, uh, you might want to once this all gets done, you know, and it's published and all that, you want to make sure your dog mat, your dog, your cat mat, whatever it is that works best for your products um, is your default view. So if we go down here, if we just scroll down um, and you the default product in the shop, you know, selected to be one of the pet stuff. So here we have, for example, the pet blanket where is it here pet blanket or pet bandana you know it's kind of up to you how you want to set it up but if you have those specific products it's probably best to set them as default all right guys uh so this was a little update video i do want to see some more products coming from uh, redbubble something that i've been asking for a while for redbubble is doing the calendars I really, really want to have fun with some calendars, doing calendars, uh, you know, adding a different image to each month of the year on the calendar, kind of like what Zazzle does. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. But do I think it will be profitable for Redbubble? I think it absolutely would be profitable. It would be pretty cool. I just don't see how it would work with their user interface. But uh, you never know. They might come out with something special. You never know. So uh, pretty interesting. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know if you're going to be purchasing any of these uh, pet products and uh, if you're going to be selling any of these pet products as well. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.